Hello, and good Wednesday to you. I got one simple question for all my viewers. And this question is, get ready for it, it's a good question. Are you willing to commit a felony for your president? That is a very good question, don't you think? If you wish to find out why I ask this question, please stay tuned because I will get into why I asked this question a bit later in the broadcast. Also in this broadcast, I will bring, be bringing you three still shots. One of the still shots is the reason why I asked this question. The other one is a still shot of FEMA saying that they can't pay for masks for schools no more. And the last one will be of how President Trump wishes to seek to block funding for democratic cities. But more on the better topic here is... Uh, the, the jobs report came out today, and, well, it came out this morning, and unemployment claims were down significantly. But don't let this fool you, because they said that they were doing a new reporting method. Um, the actual number ha has increased, basically. And remember, for that, uh, that ban for the evictions, you have to have a signed letter had it into your landlord saying that you're having a COVID-19 related hardship to be able to not be evicted from where you live. This is very important. It'd probably be good if, if you had a way to get it notarized too, just so it makes it more legal and official. And Biden says that he wants a fact checking tool to be present at the presidential debates between him and President Trump. And hello, this is the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 3rd, 2020. I am Russ, and I get to bring you some information you may or may not know. So let's find out. Okay, the, the unemployment, on to the unemployment. The unemployment report came out, and how many people are, that basically tells us how many people are fighting unemployment claims. Today's report shows that the amount of people filing unemployment claims was 881,000 people. People, sorry. <laughs> but however, this report was adjusted for seasonality, which is so basically it means that it was a new reporting, a different reporting method. So basically, the numbers are invalid. The actual total amount of people getting un unemployment benefits increased to 29.2 million people from last week. And on to Trump's executive order for the payroll tax cut. If you are a small business, you have the right to opt out of this and not do it. But for those 1.3 million federal employees that don't have a choice but to have it done anyways, um, to let you guys know what's going to happen with that for anyone who wants to opt into the payroll tax cut to get $7 additional for every $100 you earn. Um, basically, what it means is, is they want to take your Social Security and Medicare taxes out. And what will happen is in, from January 1st until April 30th of next year, you will basically have to have your Social Security taxes that are taken out doubled. In fact, that's what they will do to make you repay it. And remember when I asked you about the whole, um, would you commit a felony for your president? The reason being is because our wonderful president told us that we should vote twice. First, we should do the mail-in ballot. And then second, we should go into a polling place and cast a second vote. And the only problem with this is this is very illegal and it is a felony. Later on, the Trump administration actually tried to clear this up by saying that what the president actually meant was is that you should do the mail-in ballot and then later go in in person and see if your vote has been counted. We actually know what President Trump really meant. He meant we should try to commit a felony for him to make him win the election. And like I said, I mean, I have a picture of uh, FEMA saying they want to buy masks for schools that I'll put up. I also have a picture of Trump 
saying that he's going to block the funding for Democratic cities, as well as him telling the people himself to go and vote twice. Now, I'm actually going to put these pictures up alongside here so you guys can see them. And, in fact, I hope you guys enjoy the information I'm giving you. And if you do, please give me a like. And if you do wish to get more of my information, please hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. And I will, I will jump into your computer and give you information every single day until this whole COVID-19 and stimulus package and check issue is resolved to the people's satisfaction. Because that's what this is all about, is the people's satisfaction. But until then, you guys have a wonderful Thursday out there. Try to stay safe. Have some, get some food in your stomachs if you can. And remember, the eviction ban from from the CDC is basically in effect. So get that piece of paper out to your landlords so you can have a place to live. And like I said, until next time, you guys have a magnificent Thursday, and I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow. Bye.